Ta -da! This is my little space for the next three days. Mm, it's really cute. It's really well furnished and clean in here. I'm actually in Huntsville for the next three, no, today until Wednesday with my family. Well, I took the week off from work. Yeah, I don't have anything too, too crazy planned, I don't think. Hoping to get some relaxation in and I guess take it easy, which is very much needed for, I think, all of us. Da -da -dun. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Going down for dinner. Ooh, stairs. <laughs> yeah. Going downstairs for dinner. earlier so I couldn't properly show you my outfit but I'm back home so here is my outfit nothing crazy but these pants I guess are new I took them to my cousin to get altered um, I think I showed these in a try on quite a while back but they were like they were way too long I think they're the perfect length now I got these sent to me from Reformation they're coming off really dark on camera, but they're kind of like an like a pine green color with pinstripes. And they're very comfortable. And then just wore my Realization Part T. It 
is 5.08. I just got back home, but I need to get ready now to go out. So Jacob and I are actually gonna go watch the Barbie movie. I've really been wanting to watch it and people have said so many good things about it. Kind of a lot going on right now because I also need to pack for tomorrow. Jacob and I are actually having our photo shoot with our humble on, so I need to bring that too. But I took this week off. So today's Saturday, but I took um, this past week off. So I've been getting a lot of rest in, I suppose. Um, a lot more in comparison to what I have been getting in the previous weeks. Not really excited for all the work that I have to catch up on when I'm back, but that'll be a Monday problem. What else do I have to pack? I think I have a little bit of time before I have to go, so we can open this one together. like that it is monday so my day today is going to be dedicated to playing catch up from last week since i was off i came back to 150 emails so that's how we're starting off the week i had a super busy weekend lots of exciting things so i'm a little tired today but we're gonna get through the day we're gonna try to be as productive as possible. Um, it's currently 10 a.m. so I'm not off to the best start but I have started incorporating some very good skincare products into my routine. This is the newest toner that I got. It's the AHA BHA PHA 30 days miracle toner. Oh some by me. I feel like my skin has been doing pretty well lately. Um, I'm gonna give credit to this toner for that and it may possibly have to do with the fact that I've been getting a lot more sleep and a lot more rest than usual you know how I had that lingering cold for like the past three weeks um, I'm coughing a lot less and overall my body feels a lot better oh yeah I watched Barbie on Saturday I had a full-on mental breakdown after I saw a lot of people on Instagram saying how they cried during the movie um, 
I fully understand why. Except I didn't cry during the movie, I just broke down after. It actually does make you think about life. <sighs> I think I just had a lot built up inside and then the movie was an outlet for me to just let it all out. I didn't really mean for this to turn into a skincare routine but I also didn't really intend on carrying this vlog over into the week. I was just gonna end it yesterday but I don't really think I filmed enough during the week. So today it's kind of gonna be like a reset day, a getting back into routine day. This sunscreen has been a game changer. This is the Beauty of Chosun, um Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics sunscreen. It's SPF 50. This is amazing. I've heard so many good things about it. I think I talked about it before, um, saying how I wanted to try it. It's completely worth the hype. It doesn't feel or smell like sunscreen at all. So last night after our photo shoot, we had maratang. Um, it was like 9.30. So I feel like I'm a little swollen, but honestly, no regrets. It was so delicious. Okay, so you stop trying to poke me with a sharp thing. You wanted to do this, I, okay? Just, just be brave. I know, but you're not a I like to leave my unboxings for after work because I feel like it's a little treat to myself. But I did get myself something. I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm actually going to Montreal in a few weeks, which is crazy. Even crazier that it's July 31st today. I'm hoping it works out. I feel like it might be kind of a difficult shirt to pull off. I think it is a cute top, I just don't think it's entirely worth the price um, considering I'm trying to save money. I'm super excited about this next one because um, Levi's actually emailed me, I think it was a couple weeks ago, asking me to choose some stuff to send over to me. I think this is actually part of the package. Um, I picked out four items. Uh, it doesn't feel like everything's in here, but also they gave me two tracking numbers. I'm going to open this one for now. Yes! Ooh! I was so excited about these because I've never had Levi's shorts before. This pair is 501.90 shorts. And I got these in a size 26. Oh, they're so comfy. They're not even that baggy. They're actually the perfect fit. These are the baggy dad jeans. I actually don't have any jeans in this particular shade. So these ones I got in a 25 since they're supposed to have a baggier fit. I don't usually gravitate towards dark denim, which is why pretty much all the jeans that I have are, are light wash but I feel like I need a little bit of diversity in my denim collection, so these are perfect. Yay! I'm so excited about these. The more I thought about the Reformation shirt, I think it's gonna be a pass for me. 